What's up guys, official here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to start a graphic design channel on YouTube. Okay guys, so there's just a couple things that I'd like to say before I get into all of the equipment and software. I will actually be naming all of these in dollar prices, uh, that's US dollars, just because it's so much easier. There's uh, so many more Americans watching my videos than people from the UK or anywhere else. But if you do wish to purchase any of these softwares or equipment, then just make sure to go on your selected Amazon and then just type in the product name. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's just get straight on with the first thing that you will need. So to start off, you will need a microphone. You're just going to need a microphone to make videos of course and uh, the first option I do have is a headset or a built-in microphone on your laptop or PC so a lot of the time laptops will have built-in microphones that you can use they're not the best obviously and also a headset microphone isn't going to be the best but at least it's a free option you can also use your phone that's another option maybe if you get a uh, audio recorder on your phone and then you just record your audio and then maybe you could save it upload it to something like OneDrive and then download it on your computer you can do any of these things but they are free options so I definitely recommend them for the next one we do have a blue snowball this is the microphone I'm currently using right now it's a really great microphone it comes in at around about $50 and I think it's also 50 pounds in the UK it's a really good microphone I know a lot of youtubers do recommend it it's not as good as the blue yeti which is our next option the blue yeti is a hundred dollars and I know a lot of youtubers use this so obviously you do know it's going to be good and the blue yeti is of course like I said before a hundred dollars so it's fifty dollars more than the blue snowball so if you're just starting off I recommend that you get yourself the blue snowball microphone and then if you've been doing YouTube for a while maybe get the blue yeti because I think I'm going to be investing in that microphone shortly for an extra I do recommend recommend a pop filter this is only around about five dollars on Amazon and uh, they're really really good they do uh, help with the pops I do know I get a lot of problems with my blue snowball the pop filter does reduce these problems but I still get them every now and then sort of little crackles in the audio but with the pop filter it definitely does help so guys for our next product we do have graphics tablets now these are necessary but I do have two on my list so the first one is a Wacom draw small this comes in at $68 it's a really great option I do use this graphics tablet myself and if you want to purchase the cheapest best graphics tablet uh, on Amazon then I definitely recommend you look at the Wacom draw small it's a really great graphics tablet I use it from time to time although I don't actually use it as much as I should but it's really great if you want to become a graphic designer on YouTube. My next option is a Wacom Intuos Art Small. This is $84, so it's a little bit more pricey. If you do have the money, I definitely recommend getting it. But personally, I would get the uh, the Draw Small and then maybe go and invest in a better microphone if you do have that sort of money. Unfortunately, when it comes to graphics tablets, there isn't really a free option that you can use. Uh, you can obviously use your mouse if you do wish but the mouse isn't that great for a lot of graphic design work so if you can afford it if you've been doing designing for a while then I definitely recommend you guys go and pick up a graphics tablet so guys the next thing on my list is a webcam webcams come at different prices but the cheaper choice I have is a Logitech C270 I use this personally for my streams I know a lot of you guys if you tuned into my last stream you'll know that I actually use the Logitech uh, C270 it's only around about $20 so it's a really really great option don't need to get a really high quality one but if you do want the best and the more expensive choice then I would recommend going with the Logitech C920 this is at $90 and pretty much every YouTuber uses this, every phase member uses this. It's a really, really well-known webcam because it is the best one on the market. So guys, moving away from products, we're now going to be talking about software. Uh, we're going to mainly be talking about screen recorders. The best free choice for a screen recorder is going to be OBS Caption. Now, you will definitely need a screen recorder if you're going to be a graphic design YouTuber. Just because you need to record speed arts or tutorials, you just need a screen recorder. So I definitely recommend 
recommend getting OBS Capture. It's a really, really great option because it is free and you can do so much in it. You can also live stream. So I definitely recommend you guys go and download OBS Capture. The actual software itself is quite hard to learn at first because it's not sort of the simplest, but once you guys get the hang of it, it will definitely help with your videos. So for the more expensive choice, I have Camtasia Studio. This comes in at $300. It's quite a lot of money. Uh, cough, cough, you can get it for free. There is an option out there if you do wish, but it's not much different from OBS. And personally, I think OBS comes out with a better quality anyway. But if you do want the more expensive choice, if you are a baller, I definitely recommend you guys get Camtasia Studio. So, moving away from screen recorders, we're now going to be going into video editing software. Uh, for our free option, we have HitFilm 4 <coughs> Express. I saw I actually Stephen Van make a video on this and it looks a really great software so make sure you go and check that out um, I haven't actually used it personally but it looks good and if you want a free option out there hit film for Express is definitely your choice moving on to more pricey options we have Sony Vegas <coughs> movie studio platinum suite 12 yes that is quite a mouthful but that is $50 and uh, it's not as good as our next option which is going to be Sony Vegas Pro 13 but it is only $50 I definitely recommend you go and check this one out because it is at the end of the day $50 to edit all your videos so for the best and more expensive option we do have Sony Vegas Pro 13 this comes in at $600 So it's quite a lot of money, um, cough cough, you can get this for free as well and I'm not going to be showing you how to do that but you can, it's an option out there if you just search, the internet's there, you can go, you can look, I'm not going to show you how to do that but Sony Vegas Pro 13 is definitely the best uh, option for video editing softwares, I do actually use that myself. So guys for our next piece of software we do have photo editing, I know you would expect me to mention this in this video but the free option is going to be GIMP, I would stay away from uh, Microsoft Paint or anything like that but GIMP is a really good option, I actually know a couple of designers that do use GIMP and they actually make quite good thumbnails so make sure you check that out if you can't get your hands on Adobe Photoshop. Of course for our next option the best and also the most expensive option for photo editing is going to be Adobe Photoshop CC. This is $24 a month. Like I said, for all the other ones, you can get this for free. I don't actually recommend this, but there is ways to get Adobe Photoshop CC cracked. Like I said, I'm not going to mention how to do this, but it is $24 a month if you do want to buy it outright, and I would definitely recommend you guys do that. For the final piece of software, we do have audio recorders. Uh, I definitely recommend Audacity for this. This is the only one on my list because this is free and it's the best software out there. I know pretty much every YouTuber uses Audacity. You can do so much with your voice in there. You can uh, remove background noise. It's just such a good piece of software, so I definitely recommend you guys download audacity if you will be talking in your videos so anyways guys that is it for the graphic design starter pack for youtube if i did miss anything please be sure to put it in the comments down below but like i said at the start of the video everything that i mentioned will be in the description down below just copy and paste it into your selected Amazon or just Google and then you will find the prices for your country. I just used dollars because it's a lot more universal. Anyways guys that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like on it and if you did make it this far into the video comment down below Adobe rips me off because of their insane Photoshop prices. So comment down below Adobe rips me off and I will know you guys have made it this far into the video. Anyways guys this has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace. Go!